If you just ordered a brand new supercar, this is probably one of your worst nightmares. On February 16th, 2022, the Felicity Ace, a roll-on, roll-off car carrying ship that was carrying around 4,000 vehicles, including Porsches, Audis, Bentleys, and Lamborghinis, caught fire in the North Atlantic. The 22 crew members that were on board were safely lifted out via helicopter. In five days after the fire, the captain told Portuguese News that the fire had subsided, presumably due to the cars on board being destroyed and the fire not having anything to catch a blaze. The main concern right now is the potential environmental impact due to the amount of fuel and car batteries that were destroyed in the fire. According to consulting firm Anderson Economic Group, the Felicity Ace had 334.5 million in cars on board. The salvage alone is estimated to be at 150 million. This brings the total losses for the ship to about half a billion dollars. Porsche stepped up and sent a letter to the impacted dealers saying that all lost cars would be rebuilt and delivered as soon as possible. Not uncommon for Porsche, as they've done this once before in 2019 for the 911 GT2 RS after a cargo ship sank off the coast of France. They decided to build four extras for the customers in Brazil that lost their cars at sea. This, however, poses an interesting question as to whether Lamborghini Lamborghini will step up here as well, seeing as Lamborghini had Aventadors on the ship, according to Andrea Baldi, who is the U.S. head of Lamborghini, and as we know, the Aventador is sold out and was meant to be phased out of production and replaced with a newer model. Baldi said, The car is sold out, so there's always a possibility out of 563 units that some cancellation can allow an Aventador replacement. But I prefer to hope for the time being that at least the few Aventadors on the ship will be safe. Will they actually though? Or will this mean that the Aventador will all of a sudden come back into production even if just briefly. Either way, according to Andrea Baldi, there will be a delay.